What's going on all you gamers, here we are back with some more Diablo 2 Resurrected and what I'm going to be going over today is some of the best pieces of gear that you can get in the game for Diablo for that magic find. So if you want some of the most overpowered or best for farming pieces you can get, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always for all things gaming, for all things Xbox. All the latest and greatest hints, tips, guides and builds, and all the gameplay and reviews of the latest games, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for today I'm here to show you some pieces of gear that you should really be looking out for, because they're some of the most sought after pieces in the game, and if you're trying to get hold of some of that great magic find gear, these ones are exceptional, and well worth knowing. Now a lot of these will be some of the most powerful pieces of gear you can get in the game, some of the best pieces to aim for, others I'm going to have chucked in just to show you some alternatives or ones that I think may well help you along your way. So kicking it off our first one and we've got Rhyme. This one I'm putting in the mix because I think it's just a great one to have on. This one can really help you out mid game and can mean you farm a lot of resources a little bit easier. Now as you can see it's easy to make, consisting of just a shell and an F rune. This will give you 20% increased chance of blocking, 40% faster block rate, plus 25% to all resistances, which is really, really nice, especially mid game once you've hit Nightmare. Regenerate mana 15%, cannot be frozen, which definitely, definitely is not something that should be overlooked, and really can make this shield worth using until the very last stages of the game. And finally, what we're here for 50% extra gold from monsters, and 25% better chance of getting magic items. For such an easy to create rune word, Rhyme is one of the best ones you can get for farming purposes. Really nice and easy, grab yourself this, chuck it on for that mid game, even use it at the start of hell if you've got nothing better. Really really nice and easy to create like I said, and 50% extra gold from monsters and 25% magic find as well as the other bonuses make it one of the best easy to make rune words in the game. Next up and we've got the Blade of Alibaba. Although not the most powerful weapon in the game, it is definitely one of the best you can get for magic find. Its damage is okay, although definitely not mind blowing, but again if you're going to be using it for those farming purposes, it definitely definitely has its place because it just has such great stats on it for that purpose. So this comes with plus 60 to 120% enhanced damage. Just after that we've got 2 to 247% extra gold find, which is just ridiculously high, that's 2.5 per character level. So the higher your level, the better that's going to be, and again exactly the same on the magic find. 1-99% to better, based on your level, it's going to be 1 per character level. Finally it's going to give you plus 15 to mana, and plus 5 to 15 to dexterity. As you can see from that, although not the most powerful weapon in the world, for those farming purposes, this is one of the best ones in the game, and is really highly sought after, because it just has so much extra gold find and magic find on one item. Next up, and we've got the chance guards. These right here, again, if you're trying to do that farming purposes, they're absolutely amazing. They're going to give you plus 20 to 30% enhanced defense, plus 15 defense, plus 25 to attack rating, 25 to 40% better chance of getting magic items, which is pretty much what you're after. And again, it also boosts your extra gold find 200%. If you're trying to get some gloves, that will definitely help you to farm those better pieces of gear through magic find or to try and boost your gold find. These are the ones you're definitely going to want in that slot. Now jumping from gloves all the way over to boots, and we've got the War Traveller boots. These are very possibly the most sought after boots, or at least one of the most sought after boots in the game. They really do have such a lot going for them. So as you can see here, plus 150 to 190 percent enhanced defense, meaning they'll have a nice high defense rating. They've got the faster run and walk speed that you really want on your boots of 25 percent. Chucking on top of that, it's got plus 10 to vitality and plus 10 to strength. Absolutely amazing, means if you respec at any time, you'll probably be able to take a little bit out of strength and chuck it straight into vitality, giving you even more health. It adds 15 to 25 damage, which is really nice for anyone going in for that melee damage, and does 40% slower stamina drain. It also makes the attacker take damage of between 5 to 10. And lastly, but definitely not least, the main reason we want them is the 30 to 50% better chance of getting magic items. Obviously what you're going to want to aim for is that really high end, 48, 49, even 50 if you get a perfect roll, but ultimately these boots are just amazing. Like I said, one of the best boots in the game that you can get hold of, and can be used in conjunction with pretty much any build. Next up, and one not to be overlooked, is the Scolder's Ire. 
this one right here has a lot going for it. It's got a nice chunk of change with its defense because it has plus 160 to 200% enhanced defense. It also means you're never going to have to repair it or spend any money on it because it repairs one durability in five seconds. Also, the main reason we're here, like I said, is for that magic find, and this one is just amazing. Plus 1.25 per character level. So it gives you between 1 to 123% better chance of getting magic items, depending on how high your level is. Also, another great stat that you're always going to want to be looking for on these type of items is plus 1 to all skill levels. All in all, if you're after a nice tanky bit of gear that has amazing magic find and gives you a little bit extra to your class with those skill levels, as well as finally the magic damage reduced by 10, this is definitely not one to overlook as it's one of the best pieces of gear in the game for that magic find and overall just being a nice solid piece of gear to use. Obviously the only main downside to it is very possibly having no elemental resists, but as long as you can pick them up somewhere else, this is definitely worth chucking into your build if you're using one of the tankier classes. Now speaking of tankier classes, here we have just a barbarian only piece, and this is the Immortal King's Will. This one is really nice, and as you'll probably know, not all of the gear sets are actually used in endgame activities. The Immortal King set can well be, which is really nice, because this is a really nice piece of gear to have. It gives plus 4 to light radius, plus 125 defense, which is nice, boosting that defense up, 37% extra gold from monsters, 25 to 40 percent better chance of finding magic items and plus two to warcry skills for the barbarian if you're creating a barbarian and you're going down that route of trying to get really nice gold find or magic find this one could definitely be a gear piece to look out for or even a set piece if you want to use the whole set next up and we've got the harlequin crest shako now if you hear anyone talking about shako they are always talking about this if you're one of those caster classes, this has most of everything you need. Plus 2 to all skills, which is just phenomenal. Plus 1 to 148 to life, which is plus 1.5 per character level. Plus 1 to 148 to mana, again 1.5 per character level. And damage reduced by 10%. It also gives you 50% better chance of getting magical items and plus 2 to all attributes. This has a lot going for it and is definitely, definitely one of the best pieces of headgear that you can get in the game currently, especially for those caster classes, a lot of them will be aiming for this for endgame. A really nice piece of equipment, if you see one of these drop on the floor, make sure you grab it as fast as you can, especially in multiplayer because everyone else will be doing the same. Seeing as we're on caster classes, there's no way to overlook this one and this one is the Oculus. This is just an absolutely amazing piece of gear for those sorcerers. It really does have so much going for it. Plus 3 to sorcerer skill levels, which is just about the best you'll find, so that's absolutely amazing. Plus 5 to mana after each kill. All resistance is plus 20. 25% chance to cast level 1 teleport when struck. Plus 30% faster cast rate. Plus 20 to vitality. Plus 20 to energy plus 20 to enhance defense, and 50% better chance of getting magic items. All in all, this has every single thing on it you want. A lot of people are after this one because it's one of the best pieces of gear in the game. The only time people won't be using this will often be if they don't like the fact that they can teleport when struck. That can be a bit of a downside to this one as some people like it because it gets them out of trouble, other people absolutely hate the fact of it because they want to be able to just cast it themselves and don't want to be randomly teleporting if they've accidentally been hit. All in all, if you can put up with that, this one just pretty much ticks every single box that you're after and for a magic find item it has so many other stats going for it that it is just one of the best items in the game. Next up, and we have one that's kind of hit or miss. You're either going to love having a few pieces of this because it's a little bit off spec, or you're just going to completely stay clear of this one. However, it is one to note, and that's Tal Rashar's Guardianship. This right here has 400 defense, the requirements are minus 60%, the magic damage is reduced by 15, and it has really nice resists, so cold resist, lightning resist, and fire resist all of 40%. Obviously, the thing we're going for again is that 88% better chance of getting magic items. This is a really nice piece to have, but a lot of people don't tend to use the whole set of the Tal Rushers because there are a few things that can work out better, such as the headpiece used as a shako and such. However, if you're thinking about using this for the meantime, or you want maybe three pieces of the set, this can definitely work in some builds. Now, coming to what I would say is very possibly the holy grail of magic find, not because it's got the most magic find out of every gear piece, but because the gear piece is just so highly sought after. And this is another rune word. 
However, far from the other room word, this one is actually very, very hard to make. This one is Enigma. And as you can see, you need a Jar rune, an If rune, and a Burr rune. So two of those runes are actually very, very top tier and really hard to get hold of. But it's because of how much this piece of armor actually gives you. This will give you plus two to all skills, plus 45% faster run or walk speed, which is very, very good in itself, plus one to teleport, so it gives you the option to teleport, which is why people love this so much, plus 75 to 775 defense, meaning that it's actually a very nice tanky piece of armor, and plus 0.75 per character level to strength, meaning between zero to 74 extra strength. Obviously, if you were to respec and chuck a lot into vitality because you had this extra strength, that would work out massively in your favor in most classes. Increase maximum life by 5%, the damage is reduced by 8%, plus 14 life after each kill, 15% damage taken goes to mana, so as you may guess this does probably tend to aim a little bit more towards the caster class, but anyone could chuck this on if they really wanted to, because it is just such a great piece of gear. And also plus 1 per character level for a better chance of getting magical items, mean 1 to 99 better magic find depending on how high a level you are. All in all, Enigma is very possibly the most sought after piece of gear in the game because it just has so much going for it. This I would very possibly class as one of the most overpowered pieces of gear in the game because it just has everything in there. If it had resistances on it, it would literally tick pretty much every box that you would want, but I would say build around this instead if you need to chuck a couple of resistance charms on just to make up for the fact that this doesn't have on it, it has everything else that you want and is well well worth aiming for at that end game. Right, well, you guys and girls, that was going to be my last one, but just as a little bonus one, I'm going to be chucking one on that you may want to aim for, maybe to get a little bit early game, because it can really help you out. It is definitely not something I would try to use end game in hell, but if you wanted to dole down your damage a little bit and maybe go and farm in Nightmare, this could also help you amazingly. And that's the Gold Dagger. Now, this one adds 1 to 15 damage, 100% better chance of getting magic items, and minus 5 to mana, so you are going to want something that can make up for that mana. However, as you can see, it is definitely not the strongest piece of gear in the world, however, it is one of the easiest to obtain pieces of gear, because if you've got an endgame character and you've got enough money going for you, you can manage to gamble this one quite easy, meaning that you can really help yourself out from an early start if you're trying to get that magic find up. The gold dagger is only level 6, meaning with the right tactics you can quite easily get this even though it will again with everything in the game take a little bit of RNG. Now I'll be putting a guide out for this one or I'll already have a guide out depending on when I'm uploading this video but hopefully as always all of those have helped a little bit and you'll now know what you're going to be aiming for. As always guys and girls, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox. Take care, I'll see you on the next day.